Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. I didn't start recording this yesterday, but I ended up making a couple mistakes. As you can tell by the title, this is a welding strip tutorial. How to use a weld, kind of what it does, the properties of it, kind of an overall thing about welds. This video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to weld the part to your character. It's about all this is going to cover. I'm doing this because of a request from a member of Numera Studios named Starlight SX. So, I've already gone ahead and made the final product, what we want to achieve in the end. It's pretty simple, straightforward, and then it just welds apart to your characters. So, there's not really much to it. Sorry about that. Alright, so. Okay, so what we want us to do is get your script. In this case, we're going to be using a script inside of the player's backpack. So, I'm not really going to go over like what certain things are. I'm just going to get straight to a weld. So if you guys want to figure out like an instance or variables or whatever I'm setting up really quick, is just go check out some of my other videos. Sorry. Can't type today for my life. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to instance a part that we're going to be using for the world, of course. Um, Alright, so now we got something that instances a uh, part into our character. So that's all it does really for now. So now that we have our part, how are we going to get to stick to our character, right? So that's where we use something called a weld. You know how your hats stay in your character's head? Basically, they're held on by a weld. See these here? HUD welds? Say we were to remove one of these welds. There goes the tail. So remove the other one. There goes the hair. The welds basically hold the hat to your head. They hold the handle of the hat to your player's head. So what we want to do is when we run this script, that instances the part, we want to stick this, we're going to stick this part to our character's head. Alright. So the first thing you're going to want to do is instance a weld. So a weld has, we're going to be using three of the properties Technically, four if, you, if we're counting name. We're going to be using part 0, part 1, C0, and name, of course. So the name doesn't really matter in this case. We're just going to use it to make it simpler to find. So we have properties, part 0 and part 1. Basically what these are is the parts you're connecting. The weld is considered a joint instance, meaning it holds two pieces together. Part 0 and part 1 are the, the pieces you're connecting by the joint your weld. So part 0 is the main part, 
In this case, it would be our character's head. And then, well, and then part one would be the part you're connecting to part zero, which would be our head. So it'd be part. So let's try to see what happens if we do this. Sorry about that. See, we got it. All right. Now, we did get it to go to our character's head, so that's good. Now, the issue we have here is that this happened. It went to our character's head, but our character's head is stuck with the part. Now, I just removed the weld really quick, so... Well, let me make sure I can... Just so that doesn't happen again. So now it works. Alright. Um, hold on, sorry about this. There we go. Alright. So we have a part welded to our character's head, as you guys can see. It sticks with us wherever we go. Now say we wanted to move the weld up or down. We don't want it exactly on our head, right? So if you look into properties, you have class name, name, parent, part zero, part one. But these aren't the only properties in weld. So in this case, I'm using the help wiki to show you guys some stuff. Here you can see we have the coordinate frame, C0 and C1. C0 is what we're going to be using in this case. It determines how offset the point is to part zero. So how far away from part zero how far away, in this case, how far is this little white block from our character's head. So we're going to leave this white one here, and we're going to make a yellow one, just so you guys can see the difference. Now, C0. It's C, then 0. Not C-O, or C, capital O, it's C0. You got to be sure that's correct. And there are C-frame values. So... You're going to want to make sure you're using a C frame. In this case, it would be 0, 0, 0 if we want. So we want to make it so it stays exactly on the head like we have. That would be C frame dot new 0, 0, 0. But we want to offset it. Let's say we want to make it above our character's head. Sorry about that. Studio crash and I had to redo the script. As I was saying, say you wanted to move it above your character's head. You would change the C0 to above. Which in this case, that's what it does. It welds a yellow part above our character's head. So, it's about really all there is to go over right now. I'll go over C1 later on, and in a later video, because I myself don't really know much about it. I'm going to probably cut out the part where my studio crashed, so if you guys see a little difference, that's why. Feel free to subscribe with a comment. I'll be leaving links in our studios in the description. Join if you want.